Hey guys, I'm currently doing my skincare routine right now, and I thought while I'm doing my skincare routine, I can finally explain to you guys my moving situation and why I chose to move from Canada, lovely Canada, to the United States. If you guys have not seen my Instagram, I posted a huge like announcement on my Instagram about why I'm planning on why I'm not planning why I am leaving and this decision was fully made within in a week it was very spontaneous if you guys don't know my cousin who lives down there I have some family in America they have my cousin especially we're the same age my only cousin who's the same age as me has been begging for me to move to America to go to school I haven't gone to school yet I've done my I've finished high school and stuff like that. I just haven't done any post-secondary school. I've done upgrading, but yeah, not any post-secondary schooling. So my cousin would always beg me and I was like, eh, I don't know, I'm not going there. And I hated change. I was very like to myself. I didn't like change. I just like everything. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, once I'm comfortable, I'm done. Like I'm not, I'm not a spontaneous person. I wasn't past tense let's do that i started a mentality this year i think in the beginning of this year called a yes mentality and that brought me out of my comfort zone <coughs> meaning everything my friends asked me to do i didn't really tell anyone i just literally just within myself i didn't tell anybody but anybody some anything something somebody told me to do or friends asked me to go out or this and this i I would have to say and I'd have to say yes no matter how much I wanted to no matter how uncomfortable I felt no matter the situation my answer always had to be yes and I did this all year pretty much because I wanted to challenge myself and it really helped me so if you guys are introverted or <coughs> just like stuck in your comfort zone like me oh what is this did I see that oh that's the glare of the mirror sorry i'll do this then so if you guys are stuck in your comfort zone or like i don't know i know it's a lot of people you just get so comfortable with what you have or what you're in and um yeah so that's kind of one thing i didn't i got like you know when you get too comfortable and like i wasn't really experiencing or like enjoying my life because I was so scared and fearful of doing so many things. I need to look more at the camera, sorry guys. I'm on my iPhone, so like it's really hard. So that's kind of how it started. And then I went, I wanted to travel a lot and I wanted to experience the world. Uh, so I remember I went to Jamaica. I didn't want to go, it was for my cousin's wedding. And like after Jamaica, I felt like being in Jamaica, I felt so alive i was so like happy i was like i just felt like whoa like and i kind of liked the uncomfortableness of it like it kind of felt kind of felt good to say the least so and like i said i challenged myself so this and i did things that i was scared of so i had things on my list i remember i went zip lining which i'm like kind of scared of heights and i never really wanted to do that so i challenged myself that was the first thing i did actually to challenge myself and then i wanted to go to a my, my big square spiders i want to go to a a pet store and hold a spider but i never got to do that so i hope that happens one day anyway the main reason why i was moving so within like a month i went there in august because one my sister we went to check out her venue for her wedding and two me and my mom decided to pass by in ohio as well because my cousin's there my cousin my family lives there a lot of my family, my aunties uncles my cousins like yeah, a lot of them live there so we went to just take a stop by and I went and I was like huh my cousin always just said like you need to move you need to move here blah 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 and I was like I mean, we need to come to school here and stuff and like my everyone nobody was ever opposed to it that was the one thing that always kind of everyone was like it'll be the best experience of your life and i thought about my cousin and like for her wedding she had all a lot of her bridesmaids were she met from school when she went out of out of our province to go to school i think she went to school in vancouver or something so it was like ugh. 
I don't like a totally new atmosphere. I really wanted to, I thought it would be really fun to try to get out of my comfort zone, to be uncomfortable. And that made me fall in love with one of my co one of my favorite quotes now. If you guys have not seen my Instagram post, seriously go see it because it explains everything. And one of my favorite quotes is be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I've been trying to learn more about self-love because if you guys didn't know, I had a breakup like two years ago and in that relationship I lost myself because I was so consumed with making the other person happy. And I felt like after that relationship ended, I had to kind of re rebirth myself and rebring who I am and practice that self-love again, which I lost. And I'm starting to feel like myself again, a little better than myself, a little more of myself. It's <clears throat> it's really a fun journey. Yeah, so basically why I wanted I decided to move there was a change So I decided when my trip came back when I came back from the States, I decided Okay, I think I really want to do this So I talked to my parents and they were they always went on board They've been kind of pushing me to go on board and again, nobody has ever told me Anything negative anytime I brought it up to people they're like do it. You'll have the best experience of your life da 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 and I was like but should I really do it? And lo and behold, I I did. So I'm taking the leap, leap of faith. I'm trusting <coughs> my gut and I'm hoping that this will be an experience of a lifetime. Everyone, all my cousins, I don't know, my cousins, like yeah, all my cousins, all my, like some of my friends, cause like most of them are just kind of upset that I'm leaving. Um, all of my like I've asked my coworkers, like I've talked anybody I mentioned, they're just like everyone I tell, they're just like, Wow, like I wish I could do that. You're gonna have the best time of your life. So I hope that's true because you know I would like to have the best time of my life. But meeting new people, dragging myself, I'm going to be in a dorm with people like um not just my cousin, like she already has her roommates there and I'm already like kind of shaken up and scared because like I'm introvert, I'm awkward, I'm like I don't know, I'm so, so ready and so excited for this new chapter in my life. I leave, my flight is January 3rd, so right in the beginning of the new year, I'm starting this new journey that I'm so excited about. I will be documenting it for you, and I just feel like it's gonna be, I'm gonna look back at this and be so happy with all the new people I've met, or that I meet, and just like, I don't know. And somebody told me, they're like, don't need to think, you don't have to think about it, you just do it, and I'm like, it's true. If I think too hard of it, I get nervous, so like, I don't know what has gotten into me because like, nothing has scared me. I know the whole Trump issue over there is like, oh, but like, if you guys don't know, I'm a dual citizenship, I'm a American citizen, and I am a Canadian citizen, so that issue doesn't bother me too much, even though Trump is like, mm, y'all, y'all know, like, search up idiot on Google and He's he's the first he's the first picture that went um was trending on Twitter. But that's kinda that's kind of my reason just to experience life and really get out there and really test myself and really like put myself in awkward, uncomfortable situations and just learn to just like just be okay with it pretty much. Not to be okay with it, but learn to cope with it because I do suffer from a lot of anxiety. And I do know I'm probably gonna cry myself at some nights because I miss my family or some nights, some days are gonna be complicated and I'm just gonna miss home. I know I'm trying to like mentally prepare myself, but for now I'm really just like so excited and happy for this journey. But yeah, that's really like, I don't know if I really addressed that, but I thought a vlog would be a really cool way to address it for you guys. Why I want to move and why I'm moving, why I'm deciding to move. Because all my Canadian people I tell here, like, not all of them, but like some of them, like I've mentioned, they're like, girl, guns. And I'm like, I'm trying not to think about the negative. I'm just trying to think of a whole new journey and a whole new experience for myself. Yeah. Honestly, if you, seriously, if you would ask me this, told me six months ago that I'm coming to school here, I would have laughed at you because this was always like something I never do. So this is just, I don't know, it just proves my growth and I'm so proud of myself. I really, truly am proud of myself. I've come a long way and I just feel like, I mean, I, I deserve this. Maybe I need to stop being so hard on myself. I'm a hard worker, I deserve to have a little fun, meet a little people, like, 
maybe it'll be like a whole culture shock for me. Because the first time I went to Ohio, well, when I went back there for like two, two years ago, y'all, I was like, it was a whole culture shock. I felt like, that's how much I was so scared of um, traveling. I just didn't like traveling and I was in my comfort zone. I had like anxiety driving down and not knowing where I am. But now I kind of get that joy and I'm kind of just looking around and I'm like, wow, this is beautiful. Like just being in a place I don't know. And I'm tired of my city and I'm tired of the people here because like all of them are fake. I just feel like I've, 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 I've reached my mark in my city and it's time to like spread my wings and go explore. Go explore around and see what, see what, see what's out there. See, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited and I can't wait to look back at these videos and maybe, maybe I'll just be like so happy of my decision or I'll, maybe I'll regret it. Let's hope not, knock on wood. But I just think I'll be like, so proud of my decision, hopefully. Seriously, everyone I mentioned, they're like, you need to do it. I'm like, okay, girl. Okay, I need to do it. Yeah, so I think that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Remember, self-love is the best love. And it's not goodbye. It's see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mwah. I'm living my best life. Got a lot to be smiling for. Smile, smile, so what the fuck you be wildin' for?